How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching another video and welcome to part 3 and the final video of why your coffee might suck. Now in the first two videos we talked about the importance of getting a really high quality coffee bean from third wave coffee. That's one of the great characteristics of the new types of coffee that are coming out now. And number two, once you get that perfect coffee bean, not to ruin it with putting an improper roast on it. Now what we're going to talk about today is extracting the flavor out of that perfectly roasted coffee bean because the last thing you want to do is get the perfect coffee bean, get the perfect roast and ruin it on the last step. Now the extraction process really has two major steps. Number one, grinding down that coffee bean and number two, how are you going to brew it? All right, let's move on to the first step of extracting that awesome flavor from that perfectly roasted coffee bean. If you're going to remember one thing about this entire video and that's consistency is key when grinding up that coffee bean. We want to try to get those grains as close to the same size as possible so we can extract a more even and balanced flavor. Your choices right now are between blade and burr grinders. Now some people love to use manual bladed coffee grinders. You put the coffee beans in there and you crank a handle around and that's how you get those grains out. Or you can get an electric one like this one. Your burr grinders you're going to find in most coffee shops and there's two types and of course there's a debate which one is better. You got your conical versus your flat. Now it doesn't matter which method you decide to grind up your coffee bean, you're going to come up with three different sizes. Basically small, medium, large, otherwise known as fine, medium, and coarse. So the goal for you and your grinder is to hit that nice Goldilocks zone, which is right in between those medium sized grains. You don't want to go too fine. You don't want to go too coarse. So the fines are pretty much like powder. You're going to get 100% extraction. It's going to over extract and you're going to get a very bitter taste. The larger boulder or the coarse grains, not only are you wasting coffee, but you're not going to extract a whole lot out of it. And that can lead to a very watery tasting coffee. Now, because you can set the grind size on a burr grinder, you're going to have more consistency versus a blade grinder. So I guess the next question to ask is, well, if both methods still have inconsistencies, how can we lessen them? And the answer is to get a sifter. Now, you can absolutely go out there and try to make one of your own sifters, or you can buy one from a company like Kruv. Now, Kruv really has it dialed down to the micron, so you're going to have a real consistent separation between fines, mediums, and boulders. Now, if you do decide to sift, you checked off the box of getting the perfect bean, the perfect roast, and the grains as even and consistent as possible, the last thing you got to decide is what brewing method you want to use. Some of the common choices out there you're going to see are your immersion or press methods like a French press or an aero press. Then you got your drip pour over coffee methods that are really popular right now. So you got your Hario V60s, Kalita Wave and Chemexes all the way up to vacuum siphons. So here's a few things to think about when trying to select a brewing method. Number one, are you going to enjoy the manual process of whatever method you choose? And number two, will you enjoy the taste? And unfortunately, the only real way to know is to actually go through the process. Well, all right, guys, there's a general overview of why your coffee might suck. And if you want to take it that extra step, now you have some guidance as to what you need to do to really push that coffee bean to the next level. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.